Joe Biden is out of the race, as many people predicted and preempted. And what can we take from that most immediately? I suppose one thing we know for absolute certain is that the virtue and morality that undergirds that party is pretty flexible, isn't it? That guy, he's our president. Now, remember before the debate, people were somehow trying to maintain the idea that he was cogent and coherent. And the debate, in a sense, represented the pinnacle of that extraordinary lie. And now we've had an assassination attempt, Biden's resignation, the endorsement of Kamala Harris, but most of us have been watching Kamala Harris too. And of course, no claim of senility can be made, but this is not a garrulous and easy political figure. This is someone who does not seem at ease around public speaking in particular. It's extraordinary. We're witnessing, I think, a kind of almost a contraction of time, that things are speeding up. And uh, Terence McKenna speaks about that quite beautifully. There's few, two things I recommend you have a look at. One is Trump mentioning Kamala Harris is laugh. That is a, that's a pretty heavy diss and a sort of a pretty succinct ob observation. And the other thing, look at Terence McKenna talking about time compacting. This is the, we can be unburdened, all of us, by what might be. This is a real chance for us to let the past be unburdened by the future of what might have been. After the Trump assassination attempt and after my experiences at that Republican National Convention, I have to tell you that, I mean, what's, I don't know what world we're living in anymore. I don't know what world we're living in anymore. And I'm increasingly open to the idea that this is some extraordinary masquerade. And as with all masquerades, you have to be open to the possibility that there is an element of duplicity and construction beneath it. It's going to be a wild ride between now and November for all of us. Now, I've got to go because real life's calling me. My beautiful daughter. My beautiful daughter. Good luck in this crazy world, everybody. Will it be Kamala Harris? Gavin Newsom, Michelle, Gavin Newsom, sorry, some of us call him, Michelle Obama. Haven't we seen this movie unfold before a thousand times already? Let me know what you think in the comments because ultimately we're going to have to find a system together that makes sense to all of us. And I wonder if we even have the raw materials now. Stay free.